uh, welcome back to my channel, My Fun Physics World. So in front here is a transformer, consists of two coil with different number of turns. If this side is connected to alternating current power supply, so we call this as primary coil. And then this side will automatically become the secondary coil because we will connect lot, uh, example, the bulb, uh, Okay, to the right side so overall so we call this as a step up transformer but let's say the bulb is connected to the left side okay, uh, and then the right side is connected to the alternating current power supply so we will call this as step down transformer okay, because the primary coil have more number of turns the secondary coil has less number of turns Okay, what is the use of a transformer? Transformer actually used to uh, increase or decrease alternating current voltage. Okay, uh, to increase or decrease alternating current voltage. Okay, so now I already connected the alternating current power supply to the left side of the transformer, the left coil. So, uh, the one with less number of turns now is the primary coil. And then, the one with the more number of turns now, okay, is connected direct to uh, a bulb. So, this is 3.8 volt bulb, eh? mentol, mentol 3.8 volt. And then you can see that the bulb now is connected to the more number of turns. So what do we call this? Yes, this is the secondary coil. Okay, now, so what is the voltage that I'm using? Okay, I'm using alternating current voltage. Now here is zero, but can see up here is one. So I'm using one volt. Okay, one volt. This is 3.8 volt bulb. If let's say 3.8 volt bulb connected to 3 volt, uh, 3.8 volt uh, battery, then you will see the bulb um, light up with the normal brightness. Okay, now this is only one volt. Huh? See what happened? Do you see? Can see or not? Can see it lit right? Okay, but quite dim. Okay, but we are only using one volt. Okay, actually if you use one volt, it will not light up. Okay, it will be very dim. Okay, now, okay, I increase the alternating current voltage. So let's say I'm using two volt. So here two volt. And then here change to zero. Okay, zero volt. Okay, watch. Huh? So, can see or not? This is bright. Okay, although I'm using only 2 volts, so this is uh, uh, light up with a normal brightness. Okay. Now, so the way does this uh, bulb get the current? Okay, because here this is insulated wire, wind on an iron core, and then these two, okay, are not in contact. And then there is no way for the current to go from the coil to the iron core and then go here. Okay, there is no way. So where does this uh, bulb get the current to light up? Okay, uh, so this is the amazing part of a transformer where it is using the principle of electromagnetic induction. I show you by using uh, an all version of my school transformer. Okay, so this is our old transformer that uh, here you can see it clearer. Okay, where we have a uh, soft iron core, laminated soft iron core, laminated soft iron core. All right, then uh, two U shape, and then we will do like this. Okay, but I just separate it first, okay, so that you can see better. Now, I'm using uh, the less number of turns connected to the 
uh, power supply, the alternating current power supply. But I'm using 4 volt now. Then, uh, the this one have more number of turns I connect to the bulb. Alright? So, if let's say I switch on uh, current, okay, will the bulb light up if I just uh, let it like this? Will the bulb light up or not? Okay, you can see here. So, if like I say I switch on, alright, can see the bulb does not light up. Okay, does not light up. Yeah, logic lah, okay, because now current flowing here, but current cannot, cannot jump into the other wire and then light up the bulb. Okay, um, if let's say I move the iron core nearer, okay, nearer, see what happened. It vibrate a bit. Okay, can see that the bulb light up. Okay, the bulb light up. Then, the question now, where does this current come from? Okay, you see, if I separate this, okay, so the bulb is connected to the uh, secondary circuit, second secondary coil, sorry, yeah, secondary coil, and they are not the, the current from the primary coil actually have no chance to go to the secondary coil. So what actually happened here? So this is actually the beauty of electromagnetic induction. Okay, so what happened? Yeah, it's actually you can see right. It light up again okay so I just switch off first so what happened is actually okay when current flow through the coil so this become an electromagnet so it means that the surrounding here there will be magnetic field if you can see it there are lines okay magnetic field lines all right so use your right hand grip rule okay if you know the direction of the current here then you know which part will be north and south pole all right so since we are using alternating current so the uh, pole of the solenoid okay will keep on changing so maybe here first is here north here south then next cycle will be here south here north here south they keep on changing pole. When that happens, if you can imagine the direction of the magnetic flux, so the direction also keep on changing. So if let's say here is north, south, the direction will be direction will be like this. Okay. But let's say they change the pole, it will be like this. So it means that the magnetic flux will keep on changing direction every half cycle. Next, okay, you see, when this is in contact. So what happened is the magnetic flux will be linked to the secondary coil by the soft iron core. Uh, that is the use of this soft iron core. It links the magnetic flux from the primary coil to the secondary coil. Okay, so it means that here also will have north and south pole. So you can imagine the 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 direction of the magnetic flux keep on changing. Okay, like that, like that, like that, like that. Okay, every half cycle because we are using alternating current. So when the direction of the magnetic flux keep on changing, although the coil is stationary, but there will be cutting of the magnetic flux. When the magnetic flux is cut, okay, keep on changing like that, right? Okay. So the current, induced current will be produced. Uh, that will light up this bulb. Okay, isn't it? Amazing.